Wow. I have seen a publication elsewhere that you went to a registration center knowing very well that you had COVID-19. Is that true? Um, let me ask you a question. Do you know your status? Do you have COVID? Have you done your test? You have told me what your status is, and I'm told that, no. the, and I'm saying that no. the publication said that you went to the registration center knowing very well that you were COVID-19 positive, and I'm asking you if that is true. Yes, and I'm asking you if you have done your test already. It's inconsequential, sir. Did you know your status okay. before right. going let, to the let, registration let me, center? Let me, let me leave my question. Yes, I have um, on the on the first day of uh, of uh, of uh, the um, registration. I think it was uh, um, a problem. There was a problem. One one of the centers um, had some machine problem. Um, knowing my status, knowing that I'm asymptomatic. Um, I visited only one center just to check on this machine issue to see whether it was true or not. I never got in the midst of people and I never got close to anybody. This was on Tuesday or Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. The registration started on Tuesday. When did you know your status? Oh, um, I would say that my doctor asked me to go um, on self-isolation on the 20 i think 23rd 23rd, yes, 23rd what yes, what does so self isolation mean self isolation means that you should stay away um stay alone for let's say some time to review your condition so why were you at a registration center where you could have at least 100 human beings um, unfortunately that is not that that is not the case. I did not go to a residence that where I could have one hundred human beings. I went straight in my car to ascertain the the, the veracity of what we we're saying. Um I spoke stood very far away, spoke to the AC person who explained why the machine was misbehaving and I said I'll take this report to the airport. And that's where I left. You spoke to them from the window of your car or you got down and got to the No, center? I, 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 I got down. And uh, you spoke to them and went back. Did you go with your driver? Yes, I went with my driver. So you, exp you, so you exposed your driver. Important. It is important that people like us always get to know our status. Because whether we like it or not, we will go in the midst of people. And no, 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 status. no. Whether or not you like it, if you are told to isolate, you will not go in the midst of people. I believe that the word isolation means. So you exposed your driver. You were in the same vehicle with him. Your windows were rolled right. up, perhaps. And you went close okay. to the electoral commission staff and spoke to them. Did you announce to them when you got down that you, you were positive so that they would be wary of that? I always explain myself this way, that I am asymptomatic. I do not transfer. No, that's not what and it means. So, Asymptomatic means you don't show symptoms. It does not mean you exactly, cannot transfer. If show, well, if I don't show symptoms, that's what if that's what the WHO says this time. That after ten days, asymptomatic, you 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 can you can go without doing any other test. Yeah, but you have so, not been cleared, honourable, to 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 go away. So first of all, did you tell your driver that you had COVID nineteen? My driver has also done his test. Is he positive? And my driver is. My driver is not, he's also tested positive. So the two of you were positive and you went to a registration center and possibly transmitted to unsuspecting no, people. But this is... who? But my driver is sitting in the car. So my driver only, he went there to just check this problem and came back home. I did not get my driver down. He only came back and went home. Are you an IT officer, sir? No, I'm not supposed to be an IT officer. Too. Why do you have to move your vehicle when you're supposed to be in isolation to a registration center to check on a machine that had a difficulty when you had party executives who could do that for you, electoral commission staff could have easily handled that? Um, what I'm saying is, as far as I am concerned, whether we like it or not, I have to go in the midst of people at a point. And you're not telling me that in a registration period center such as this time, I don't have any right to, as it were, uh, solve a problem if I can. I Once I know my status, I know how to handle myself in the midst of people. And that's the most important thing. Okay. I didn't even, I didn't even spend even five minutes. Honorable, 
when the doctor say, say to you to self-isolate, is it compulsory or this is just an advice? It's not binding. Um, it is, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to step out. If you go, if you go outside, um, to the hospitals and the clinics. People who are asked to self-isolate are asked sometimes to step out in the sun and walk around. Yeah, but not to and, go to registration centers. And, you, know, you see, you, you, are, you are oversimplifying the matter. And in going to the registration center, it depends on what you are going to do in the registration center. I went there just for a purpose and came back. Would a constituent of yours be found to have broken the law if they leave their isolation center and went to the Committee One market, for instance, center to buy tomatoes? Do you know how many people who have this condition and they don't haven't tested and they don't know it? You haven't answered my question. You are, sir. You are only speaking on benefit of hindsight of someone who has actually. Uh, be able to portray to the world that yes, he is at this point. Yeah. So the reason, the reason, the reason you of all people should be protective of the rest of the populace is that you know what your status is, and so you should prevent yourself. I mean, you should be prevented from going out. Indeed, in other jurisdictions, uh, the health officials would have taken you to an isolation center, maybe Ghanaist, UGMC, and so on. They do not do that because they expect you as a high-ranking member of society to obey the safety protocols that they have put in place. So they ask you to self-isolate in your home, which is what happens to some other people in the society who are able to or capable to self-isolate. You have breached that. Ideally, they should have put you at Gang East or anywhere else like Honorable um, Dan Botri or Matthew Poku Prempe are doing. That's this or the Honorable that's what they should have done to you but they trusted that you would not move about but you have breached that as a lawmaker that would be disappointing wouldn't it no i don't think so you i, I think that you are only simplifying the, the whole matter um if i am able to identify myself as a, as a carrier or somebody who is asymptomatic or somebody who is positive and i can follow the protocols by ensuring that I do not, you know, uh, go in there without no smiles, without of the social distance, without touching people and so on. I made sure that that problem that sent me there is exactly what, you know, I talked about. And okay. F finally, before you go, someone has sent me a message saying that the ICU ward at Kolebu is the same as the isolation ward. What do you say to that? <laughs> Well, I, I don't know what name they want to call it, but I went to the isolation center. I didn't go to ICU. Thank you so ICU, much. They have a bigger ICU and uh, they have the, uh, an isolation center. Okay. Thank you so much for speaking to us and wish you a speedy recovery.